APC was the result of the Great Mergers Cocktail, ACN, CPC, NPP, APGA, and PDP's remnant tail. So with this new coalition, Buhari put his motion in gear to deliver a 2015 victory in a political fairy tale. Tinubu forfeited the VP slot in order not to derail the balance of religion that some used as blackmail. He bought Oshimbanjo and ultimately sold him retail supported government through the good, bad, and the flail. In 2022, becoming the presidential candidate on APC's veil, picked Shatima as VP, making their opponents look pale. Tinubu has supported so many in kindness to veil. Now it's his turn to take the reins and finally prevail. The humming, the cheers, the victory drumming as the city boy morphs into the one that's incoming. All hurdles are coming, his pathway forthcoming. Amy Loken is becoming because Ashiwaju is coming. Now the policy framework he couched for our great nation is an action plan built on a renewed hope citation, providing jobs with good wages as decent compensation, manufacture, create and invest goods for our dispensation, enact agricultural policy that promotes fertile cultivation, export more, import less to incentivize economic levitation, expand infrastructure and modernize their very foundation harness digital economy, the arts, and give tourism salvation, empower the vulnerable poor and those most in frustration, generate, distribute, and sufficiently from the electricity station, make healthcare, education, housing, and affordable creation, establish policy to create a very strong security calibration, remove oil subsidies to increase our gas domestic production, reform the education sector with better quality vocation, include women and youth youth in the brand new administration, build railways and roads to boost our mass transportation. There'll be judicial reform and foreign policy elevation, adjust allocation and boost our IGR through robust taxation. Provide inspiration, liberation and innovation in our federation His manifesto shows the dedication to build on our foundation. The humming, the cheers, the victory drumming as the city boy morphs into the one that's incoming. All hurdles are coming, his pathway forthcoming. Amy Lokan is becoming because Ashiwaju is coming. Tinubu is a family man, right down to his score. Since 1987, has been married to a wife he does adore. When they met, the kindness in his eyes was what she fell for. They entered a union through that matrimonial door. Oluremi Tinubu is a lawmaker on the senatorial floor. She's strength and his partner in life evermore. In total, he has six children, each with utmost galore. But in 2017, we lost Jide and there was sadness outpour. His daughter Shade is a year lodger of Lagos Market Store. She, Tinubu, is his second son. He's a maestro for sure. Zainab Abi Batanyika, a children that Tinubu bore. He's a Muslim, his wife Christian, which does underscore his respect for religion and his love for peace, not war. An accountant, politician, a leader, and a great deal much more. He's the lion of Bordelon who lives with such candor. He is brave, he is focused, and always ready to explore ways to empower his people to be better than before. He is smart, he is kind, he has become my mentor. I see him as the best person to be Nigerian's guarantor. Now that he has emerged as president, he'll do all that he swore. The humming, the cheers, the victory drumming as the city boy morphs into the one that's incoming. All hurdles are coming, his pathway forthcoming. Emi Lokan is becoming because Ashiwaju is coming.
As we face a new frontier in this election year, I urge all Nigerians to adhere to volunteer, to steer and be near what is good and sincere, to cheer for our nation so it can persevere. The smear of Nigeria has been quite severe. We are known as the scamming and for one mind pioneer. To add insult to injury, it does thus appear. Our nation has been added to the terrorism sphere. Our forefathers fought to clear our atmosphere from the disunity destruction we see in our veneer. Awolo Zik Sadona, they were the pioneer of this beautiful land, our greatest souvenir. Balewa and Makoli did diligently commandeer in nurturing this nation so that each of us can cheer. Iyo Ita and Ikoku stood up to shape the sphere of the evolution of this country so we could profit here. In Ahoro and Sir Odoma continued to thus appear whenever we were taking the wrong and backward gear. Osa Dede and Joseph Terka were always quite severe in protecting Nigeria from any negative interfere. Chief Ajayi and Awoni were the opposite of insincere. They were each what you would call progressive engineer. When I think of Aminu Kano, for me, it brings a tear. He wanted poor Nigerians to smile from ear to ear. For our forefathers, let us make sure we strongly reappear. Let us make us the greatest nation in this northern hemisphere. Our fellows, dear comrades, Nigerians far and near, don't tear up, let's cheer up, let's be up here, let's cheer. Let's fight for our nation without favor, without fear. Let's clear misconceptions and make them disappear from north to the south and the middle front and rear. Nigerians are one, we appear known to dominate. As we exit this election cycle that is already here, let us leave badge energy and chakra to go with the SDA. Our motherland is worn, we must conform Nigerians dear. Let's auctioneer this message for the rest of the year. The humming, the cheers, the victory drumming as the city boy morphs into the one that's incoming. All hurdles are coming, his pathway forthcoming. And when Lokun is becoming because Ashuaju me, he's coming. Strong, brave, honest and true, my pledge I give to you to strengthen and to renew our greatness through and through. Even when tired and worn, beauty and grace adorn her face each night and each morn in our motherland we sworn. As citizens, we offer our strength and creed in the path of those who sincerely proceed. Some will follow and some will take the lead to unite our great nation for all indeed. For our common good, we shall take opportunity to establish unity from any diversity. And no matter the disunity and impunity, we must continue to build our community. We are a fortress, couch from within, is our task to strive and begin, to forge forth, struggle and win, our quest for liberty therein. My pledge is built at this most crucial hour. I support Ashiwaju from the mightiest hour. Pray for the victory through Almighty's power. My wish for Nigeria is through prosperity and power. I hope you all enjoyed this literary flower, signed, sealed and delivered by Hani Musawa.
crossing in balls, and of course, Simon Moses also plays well as well. But today, he had a bad game. He put in a couple of crosses, and you know, they were just to, to nowhere. So, we need to build the team, and we need to have a style of play. Like the way Arsenal play this season, for example, they have a style.